In this video, we'll learn how to create distributed mass in Altair SimSolid. We'll begin by opening a SimSolid project. Click on Open Project and double click on the file to load this project. This project has model analysis that's predefined. Let's take a couple of seconds to review the model. Expand Assemblies folder. This model has a bunch of parts and all of them have material assigned. Look at the connections. Connections are also defined. Let's make sure if this assembly is fully connected or not. Click on Find and Show Disconnected Groups. And there are no disconnected groups. Close this dialog. Now let's get into the actual topic of this tutorial, distributed mass. Distributed mass is used to apply non-structural mass. And it's available as a boundary condition for model analysis and linear static analysis. Let's apply distributed mass for model analysis. Click on model 1 and select the workbench item distributed mass. It can be applied on faces. Let's select the top face of this walkway and it can be applied as a total mass or mass per area. Let's apply total mass of 50 kgs. Click OK to evenly distribute this 50 cages on this top face. Solve model 1. Plot displacement magnitude to view the frequencies. Turn on show deformed shape and switch between different frequencies to view the deformed shape for each mode. To look at the effect of distributed mass, let's create one more subcase and uh, not apply distributed mass. Copy model 1 to model 2 and delete the distributed mass. Solve model 2. Plot displacement magnitude to view the frequencies. Switch between model 1 and model 2 to compare the frequencies between the two subcases. As expected, model analysis 2, which has lower mass than model analysis 1, has higher frequencies.